So I study what happens when the same host is infected by the multiple pathogens at the same time. Traditionally, research has been done by considering a single host individual and a single pathogen and how these then compete with each other and usually the pathogen ends up winning. But with recent um, technologies, we've learned that the same host is often simultaneously infected by multiple pathogens. And in my research, I'm aiming to understand what happens when we account for this diversity. So absolutely, we wouldn't even be able to do this research without ERC funding. One of the components that we study is how pathogen communities are formed in the wild. And to do this accurately, you need to do a lot of sampling, you need to do a lot of sequencing. And simply collecting that amount of data is so expensive that it would be beyond the scope of most research funding. So food security is of course a major issue globally. We're a globally growing population. We need to produce more food, we need to produce higher quality food, but at the same time, the environment is degrading in a way that we can't follow the same food production practices that we have been doing for a long time. And in our research, we're trying to uncover some of the basic principles of what keeps diseases in check in natural situations. And if we succeed in doing this, then we can apply some of these principles also to the agricultural context where pathogens are a major problem. For me, the, the motivation to do science, it's all about discovering the unknown. I think there's nothing better, and this has been the same for me since the beginning of my career, is that after you've finished an experiment or you get a first data set, just the sense that you don't know what's in that data and that when you start exploring that, the sense of excitement of what you might discover from that is, I think it's the best feeling that there is in this job and that's definitely the one that keeps me going. Within this ERC grant, the biggest aim that we have is to understand the law so that if we have an individual that's infected by two pathogen species and another individual that in, that's infected by 10 pathogen species, we want to understand why we see this difference. We want to understand what this means for the pathogens, for their fitness, for their epidemiology, and we want to understand what this means for the host individual as it's aiming to evolve resistance and trying to survive with its pathogens. And the project we're working on now can really yield fundamental and novel information about these dynamics. So in most universities, the greenhouse facilities can be some tens of kilometers away from the campus areas. And in our research, it's really critical to be able to take samples from the greenhouse into the laboratory within a time frame of a couple of minutes. And also having all the life science facilities from greenhouse to molecular labs and sequencing facilities on the same campus has really made our life a lot easier and in part actually enables us to do the work that we do.